Hello everybody, welcome back to Gaming Trials, and the Overwatch League starts in 8 minutes. So, we're gonna do predictions. Real last minute. Um, I'm doing this on the Pick'em thing for Overwatch League. It's a pretty good thing. Uh, as you can see, the full day locks in a half an hour. Meaning that, uh, if I don't do this in 37 minutes... I'm not going to be able to do this at all. I'll probably do this in much further in advance in the future, but for week one, we're doing this now. Let's go. The first match is the Houston Outlaws versus the Dallas Fuel. Given that we were are potentially going into a... You know what? I'm not going to look too much into the meta per se... Although I will say, I think Houston possibly has an edge here, considering it's possible. I think this is going to be a five mapper, so we'll just put two maps on the board for each. And as for who actually wins, it's going to be kind of a toss-up, I would say. I don't, I don't think either team has a definite edge, otherwise it would be a 3-1 victory, probably for a team. Look, thinking about Dallas's roster versus Houston's roster, um, I'm going to give it to the Outlaws. I don't think Dallas will win. Um, it is quite possible that they'll win, but I, I've, I've got a certain feeling. I've got a certain feeling in my gut that tells me Houston is going to win this for whatever reason. Uh, let's move on to the Gladiators versus the Shock. Uh, we're going to go with... I'm going to go with a 3-1 for the Shock. Um, I don't normally think that... Uh, normally, Shock gets out to a little bit of a slow start to the season. I don't think that's going to happen. I think given that we might see quite a bit of rush... We might see some other stuff being played as well. well. We'll most likely see other stuff being played probably on maps like Elios or other control maps, but and and possibly even for payload. But I, I think the Shock are going to win this one, and honestly, probably handily. I I would like to see a three two, um, even in the favor of Gladiators. I'd like to see them win. But I just don't think it's going to happen. I think the Shock are going to come out strong this time. Normally they start off pretty weak. But I think this time they're going to um, come out blazing. And I don't think they're going to... I think the Gladiators are going to put up enough of a fight to beat the Shock in one map. And they might win control. But I think after losing control, the Shock are just going to come back and just smack the Gladiators straight in the face and say, Listen, we're the champions for a reason, and we're going to win. Toronto versus Vancouver. I'm going to go with a 3-0. No, 3... Mm, this is tough. I'm going to go with 3-1. And the reason I'm going to go with 3-1 is because... I don't trust that Van Vancouver hasn't earned my trust enough to go to five maps, but I also think they've improved their roster enough to at least put up a fight. I think Toronto will still win, but I, th I think they're going to find a way to sneak out a map. It might be the third map, but they will find a way to sneak out a map. I can't imagine Vancouver going 3-0 in, in... I don't think any match is going to go 3-0 in opening weekend, except for Valiant's matches, which I think are just going to be steamrolls. Um, and rightfully so. The Rain versus Florida Mayhem. This is a toughie. Um, I'm going to give a Mayhem a 3-2 victory, because I trust the coaching staff at Florida... More than I trust the Reigns coaching staff. And that's going to be my only validation for that. Um, the Florida Mayhem were pretty much extremely consistent in the last season. 
Uh, they they almost won the May Melee. I just think that Florida is better. Atlanta can can quite literally a flop. Uh, Atlanta Rain could just flop and even go down 3-0 if things don't work out perfectly. But I think I think Atlanta Rain versus Florida Mayhem will be interesting. Dallas Fuel versus the Gladiators. Let's go. The Gladiators will probably be pretty pumped up after their match with the San Francisco Shock. And as long as they don't get 3-0'd and just blown completely out of the water and just boomed, I think the Gladiators will probably win this game. I think Dallas will make it interesting, and I think it'll be like a five-mapper. There's something in my bones telling me that. I don't know why. But I, I have I have faith. Unless the Gladiators just get boomed. If the Gladiators get boomed by San Francisco, then it's quite possible that the, they'll lose to the Dallas Fuel. But um, I, I, I think they'll put up quite a big fight. And if they put up a fight against San Francisco, they'll probably be pretty confident in their team's abilities going up against the Dallas Fuel, and they'll probably win. In fact, I'm willing to bet they'll probably beat Dallas Fuel 3-1, to one, unless they get absolutely boomed by San Francisco, and then it might be a five-mapper where they win. I think they win this game no matter what. I think Dallas are going to have a very, very unfortunate first week affair. Uh, the Houston Outlaws versus the San Francisco Shock is going to be uh, probably a 3-0. Um... I know I just said that no matches are probably going to go through. Oh, wait, never mind. We got Florida versus the Titans. We'll just put three on the board for Florida. Not even talk about it. If Florida loses a map to Vancouver, then Vancouver probably goes up in my power rankings. Uh, at least a tad bit. They probably stay in the same area where they are, but they probably go above one of the other teams that are there. Because Florida is a pretty still a pretty good team. Um, To be able to beat, if it's like a handily victory, you know? Like, they win the map convincingly. Um, they probably won't win win a map against them. And I think the Shock are going to be... Eh, you know what? I'll give, I'll give the Outlaws a map. And the reason I'll give the Outlaws a map is because I think they're going to beat uh, the Dallas Fuel. And I think the, Dal uh, the Houston Outlaws are going to be motivated to get two wins. Um, but I don't think it's going to happen. And finally... The last match on uh, the last NA match for the weekend is the Toronto Defiant versus the Atlanta Reign. And if we're going to be honest, I'm going to go with a 3-1 to, to one win for the Reign. Uh, matches hardly ever go to five maps. Uh, one map, one team usually either just asserts their dominance and wins 3-0. Or their team wins, the the losing team wins a map to not get swept. Um, but hardly ever do you see a team where, a game where it's like, goes to five, like a lot. I mean, there are some matches that should go to five, some that don't. Uh, I think the Shanghai Dragons are going to win 3-1. to one. I'll give the Guangzhou Charger map. I think they're still a pretty good team. And I think uh, if Shanghai is not careful, they can sneak out a map. Uh, Hunters versus Valiant. There's no reason. There's no reason. Not a single reason that the Chengdu Hunters should drop a map to the LA Valiant. There's no reason any team currently should be dropping a a map to the LA Valiant. The Fusion versus the Dynasty. I think before I found out about the visa issues, I probably would have given it to Philly. I still think they're going to make it a competitive series, but I think the Dynasty will probably win 3-2. to two. Um, If the Fusion had their full roster, I would say Philly probably wins 3-2 to two because I think Seoul is going to be a lot better this season and more consistent, so I think they're going to be a force to be reckoned with in the APAC region. Guangzhou Charge versus the Seoul Dynasty, I think is going to be another five-game affair. And I think it's going to go Seoul's way again. I think Guangzhou versus Seoul always goes to five. 
it could just be me, but I feel like every time they play, it always goes to five maps. Uh, Chengdu versus Shanghai. Uh, they, it's Shanghai, man. They they get. I'll give them the three zero on this one. I don't foresee. I, you know what? No, we're gonna go with three zero. I think Shanghai. If they lose a map to the Guangzhou Charge, are going to be a little bit more careful and actually try to really go hard. And then I just think Philly is going to absolutely obliterate. Absolutely obliterate the LA Valiant. And that was week one. Now we're not going to do week two until next week, but we're going to do the pick'ems uh, for next week later. So I will save these predictions. And with that being said, there's not much that I can do about it now. So I will catch you all next week for my predictions next week. Obviously. Uh, peace out.